So, if you've seen my video on my trip from Lagos to Ibadan by train, the newly built train, this is a return episode of my trip. And if you haven't seen it, it's right here. You might want to watch the video to know what really happened and why I am, I am taking in the road transport back to Lagos instead of the train. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time or if you've been here but on a stranger level, please hit the subscribe button and be a part of the family. It's all fun, vibes and growth in here. So today I'm going to be sharing all you need to know when taking road transport. What to do and what not to do. And also th things you should be aware of or avoid, especially when taking road transport from Ibadan to Lagos, Nigeria. So firstly, due to the fact that Monia, which is a place in Ibadan, was actually the only location the train stops in Ibadan, it was quite far from town. So if you watch my last vlog on the train transport, you would see that we got to Ibadan quite late because of the distance from Monia to the main town and traffic. Also, road transport is quite far, is actually faster than rail transport especially without traffic so due to monia's distance i couldn't go back there and so we decided to take the public road transport and also have a recent experience as it has been a while so without so much ado you guys let's jump right into the video So this Adama Sibia Stadium, I think it was recently uh, repainted. It's like a stadium in Ibadan, popularly popular stadium in Ibadan, Adama Sibia Stadium. So this is around Dugbe area in Ibadan. So we passed this place, you know, basically the main point, the main um, park for, you know, when you're traveling, whether you're going to Lagos, Abeokuta, different places. I usually like to go to the Challenge Park, which is closer to me. And I think that's like the main park in Ibadan. So this on our way to challenge, we pass through um, Songo, we pass through Queen Cinema. This place is called Queen Cinema, right? So you pass through Queen Cinema, Mokola. I'm going to show those places on the screen. This particular place is Dubai area and most times is no, known for gift items, especially when it's close to Christmas period. You start seeing um, baskets, you know, you start seeing those um, baskets of gifts where you can, you know, gift someone something. I think it's usually cheaper here. This place is close to Alesh Lawyer Market. 
in Ibadan. So, pass through Mokola and then you pass as if you are going to Akwata side but you are not going directly to Akwata you pass through there and there's a roundabout where you turn and then you go through mobile after mobile after mobile, that's when we have challenge here. Yeah. So This is Moth 21 is along, you know, where you are going to challenge. Moth 21, the last time I came here, I remember when Wuli Agba did an event, Sha, and it was so interesting, Sha. It's like an event center. Yeah, people really use it a lot. So, yeah, this this place is also close to Jogo Center. Jogo Center is where we usually have our icon exams then. <laughs> So it was just bringing me so much memories, yeah, Ibadan. I grew up in Ibadan, so memories were really coming. I'm like, okay, it's been a while here. We get to when we got to challenge it was quite fascinating to see and commendable to see that the car park has been you know transformed and reconstructed and you know it was just well organized compared to the past where you know it was always scattered there's always traffic right because that place the bus you can choose to take bus or car and those ones just park on the road like anyhow but like i must commend the governor governor shirima kide that's the governor of oyo state the man is really really doing so well in um ibadan huh? yeah this is the first time i've seen It was so, you know, interesting and okay, yeah, awesome to see that the man has, you know, okay, changed that place and made it better. So there's less traffic. Actually, we didn't really experience any traffic on that road, on that route, because I mean, everything is now organized. There's a car park for the bus. If you want to take bus or if you want to take cab, which is like all the Sienna or normal car to wherever you're going to going to meanwhile there's something to note that while we're trying to you know locate the car that was going to the exact place we we're going to in lagos because okay so you guys why recording this voiceover who is that who is 
that? Who is that? Really? So he went out, I was like the only one at home, and then he came banging the window. Banging the window. Try it, bro. I was so scared to death. I'm like, who is that? I first went to lock the lock the door because <laughs> because I didn't lock it earlier. Like I just closed it while he went out. I was really really scared. It was just banging. I was like, hello, ha, have we? What's going on? I was so I first went to lock the door. And I'm, I was not shouting. Who is that? Who is that? And then he started laughing. I don't know if you guys heard it. I, I don't. I'm not sure if I'm going to edit it away from this video because he decided to scare me to death. Okay. Anyway, so I got to know that is the one, and it was so scary for you. <laughs> like nice one, nice one. Whatever. So here's the car park, lunch car park, recently commissioned by Governor Sheima Kide which is very very nice and i just wish this man could be president anyways <laughs> so you are going to see different places of course you know lagos you have different places you are going to see and uh, maybe oshodi if you are going to oshodi if you are going to yaba if you are going to different bega so there are different cars there are different cars for those routes but if you are not careful they will t they will tell you oh you are going to maybe they are going to so 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 place and eh, just worry just enter just don't worry just enter just enter they are going to drop you there you you people should not like if you are going through that means don't even try it like we had to I, we almost fell, fell for it right literally i was just like this is the exact place we are going to i don't want a case where you say okay oh yeah eh, enter just enter or should or just enter beggar like that we'll drop you where we'll drop you where we're going to is most times it's always like a trick or a lie they just want you to enter you know they just want customers so they don't care it is when you now get to the road they will now you will now be like you have to sort yourself out because where they will drop it's just going to be more stressful you know than just taking straight to wherever you are going to so that's one thing that i would like you guys to note like it was literally a struggle they would try to like help you carry your bags that oh just a hello sir so there's usually whenever you enter a public transport like this especially on this bus or car they will give you like um a form to fill you're going to fill the name of your basically like your name and then where you are going to where you are coming from that's like maybe ibadot to lagos your phone number your nest of kin details it's just like um a normal thing they feel like just in case of in case city okay like god forbid any any bad thing happen on the way they can know who to call so that's just they also sell things like the do i don't know what that is called in english but they get to sell different things walking around you in case you want to buy anything to munch along the road so you know when you enter the car park you see a lot of people trying to ask you where are you going to you can see that um there's a, a pl i don't know if it's plank they call it on each bus to state to state wherever you know the bus is going to so you can easily see your own destination right there but they are going so, to help you carry your luggage they are going to be directing you oh where are you going to and how so fun and i think it was about it wasn't even up to i think it was about two hours roughly yeah the trip and yes did i mention that the price is 2500 per person so it was 5000 for two of us 2500 which is um like um, the stand uh, this um, price for standard if you are going through train i think that's economy yeah as of for standard why for four thousand rice for business class so, no matter how you put them inside the car park they will see through them because i'm wondering what's the essence of their tax for i didn't know that this is car park if you are to go by train um the train actually leaves very early in the morning like 8 a.m and then 4 p.m in the evening which was it was the 4 p.m we took while coming to ibadan but because i mean i can't i cannot can like waking up so early you know go to monia and it's quite far that means i'm going to be waking up like maybe 6 a.m or something to prepare and try to meet up with the train and no, that, uh, that's like i'm not about to i'm not about to rush myself because it was actually weekend yes yeah? so 
I'm just like, okay, instead of, you know, rushing to catch up with the train, let me just take the road transport and see how it is, see how it goes. So, we, you know, left the hotel and if you've not watched my hotel tour, you guys should just click on it. I think it should be out before this video, so you guys should go and watch it. Very funny, very, very funny something. <laughs> like, you guys should just go and watch it. The hotel for that price. Anyways, the journey was smooth. I totally, totally enjoyed it. The, um, um, it's like a um, small car. Like, it was like a... It's not really a space bus like that. I think we're about maybe six or so, including the driver, maybe six or seven, right in the car. So, I mean, there was good ventilation. It was okay. So, we didn't take bus. I mean, it's always so crowded. So, yeah, it was it was quite enjoyable. So, as you can see from the video, I was I slept. I mean, I slept and woke up, and natural breeze was just blowing. Okay, so and it, was it was quite an awesome experience, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know if you would like to take the public um, transport, which is the road transport, especially when the um, you know car park is now well organized. Basically, that's just it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.